Good day, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed or liked my page, this is the time for you to click the link on the description below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, and share. Because I'll also be posting uh, practicals for mechanics. But today, I'll be talking on electricity, the NECO 2022 exam on electricity. Based on what NECO told us to provide, we are to provide the following apparatus. Number one, a galvanometer. Okay, a resistor of 2 ohms, or known resistor of 2 ohms. Then, a resistor of 1 ohm, of course, we can get that. Resistance box, a jockey, the cell to battery, then key or switch, then our meter bridge, then our connecting wires. Based on the apparatus that it told us to provide, I was able to draft out the likely question that we are going to see. So please stay tuned and listen carefully. This is the circuit diagram that I got containing this apparatus we are given. So if you watch, my 2 ohm resistor is connected at the end of the meter bridge. Okay? Then and it's connected at the left hand side of the meter bridge. Then on the right hand side of the meter bridge, my resistance box is connected in parallel with the 1 ohm resistor. Then, on the left hand side also, I connected it to my battery, which is a 3 volt supply battery. Then, the negative terminal of the battery, I connected it directly to the um, key or switch. Then, of course, you know the key and this or switch does not have a negative or positive end. You can connect it anywhere. Then, the other end of the, negative, uh, the, other end of the key is connected to the right hand side of the meter bridge. Okay? Then, our galvanometer is connected to the center. The positive terminal of our galvanometer is connected to the center of the meter bridge, while the negative terminal is connected to the jockey. Okay? So, based on the setup, they might tell us to locate the points where our galvanometer will have a null deflection. A null deflection is where there is zero deflection on our galvanometer. We are going to read the value for L. L is the distance from the left hand side of the meter bridge to where our galvanometer showed a null deflection. Then, of course, we know that the meter bridge is graduated in 100 centimeters. If we get from here to here to be L, therefore, from here to here will be 100 minus L. So we are going to proceed to the setup. For you to know that your setup is correct, when you or place your jockey on the left hand side of the uh, meter bridge, you are going to receive a non deflection in the galvanometer going towards the left hand side, telling you that the setup is correct. Please and please, if you place your jockey at the left hand side of the meter bridge and it is indicating a deflection in the right hand side, know that your connection or your setup is wrong. Okay, so I'm going to proceed to show us how this is arranged experimentally. So let's proceed. Okay, so I'm going to be showing us the apparatus, like I've said. Here is the 1 ohm resistor that we are using. This is the resistance box. This is our meter bridge. Okay, this is my key or switch. This is my galvanometer. Then this is my cell, which is a 3 volt supply battery. This is my unknown resistance of 2 ohms. So, the connection is quite simple and easy. All you need to do is to connect your 1 ohm resistor with your resistance box in parallel to the two ends of the meter bridge as connected like this. Then you come to the left hand side of the, of the meter bridge, you connect the 2 ohm resistor directly to these two ends as shown. Then also, I told you that the positive terminal of the galvanometer is going to be connected at this end. Okay, then my negative terminal of the galvanometer is going to be connected to the jockey. Okay, of course, we know what jockey is used for. Jockey is used to make contact along the meter bridge. Okay, then this is my key or switch. Then, after everything, we are going to locate, we are going to vary the resistance from the resistance box. So, I'm going to be told, like, I'm just um, suspecting, they might tell us to start from 30 ohms. So starting from 30 ohms, it simply means that I'm going to remove the key 30 here 
I'll remove the 20 and remove the 10, making the resistance that is flowing in this to be 30 ohms. Once I've removed the 20 and 10, which is 30, I will place my jockey, I will slide my jockey on the meter till I a point that I get a no deflection in my galvanometer. So in doing that, I'm going to be sliding this. Okay, if you watch, there's a deflection at the left. Okay, telling you the connection is correct. Then if you watch, I will keep on going, keep on sliding it till I reach zero. Till it shows zero. Of course, it's showing zero here in my in my um, galvanometer. So at this position is where I'm going to record from here to here. To so left hand side will be my L, which is which is from here is 57. So here from here it is 57. Okay? Then I will record my value for my L for 57. Okay, of course my L will be 57. Then if my L is 57, 100 minus L will be 100 minus 57, which will give me 43. And I will evaluate X. X is equal to R into bracket 100 minus L over L. Okay, which is recorded in ohms. So in that case, my x is equal to, for the first case, my resistance is 30. 30 multiplied by 100 minus L is 43, divided by L, which is what? 57. In that case, I'm going to get 22.63. That's how I'm going to do it for 20, for 10, for 5, and 3. Recording the values of my L, I recorded the values of 100 minus L. Also recording the value for my x. I don't know how the question might be. They might tell us to plot a graph of r against x. So of course you know what to do. After plotting your graph, you determine your slope and any simple calculations that you might be asked, of course you know what to do in that aspect. Then also I drafted out another table in which they might ask the question. Okay, this is my resistance. Okay, this is my L, which is gotten from this. The value for my L here is gotten from the left hand side of my meter bridge, not the right hand side. Then, of course, you know what L inverse is. 1 over 43 will give me this, 1 over this will give me this, till the last value, which is my 3 ohms. Then also, my resistance inverse will be 1 over 30 will give me this, 1 over this will give me this, 1 over this will give me this, 1 over this is going to give me this, 1 over this is also going to give me this. So after that, they might also say we should plot a graph of R against L inverse. Okay? Then, of course, we know what to do. Or they might tell us to plot a graph of R against R inverse. Whichever way the question comes, the basic thing is for you to understand the concept and understand what the examiner is trying to let you do. Okay, that being said, they might ask us what are the precautions taken to carry out this experiment. Of course, number one, I ensured that I made a tight connection before checking the null deflection in my galvanometer. I made sure I removed the key when readings are not taken to avoid the discharge of the battery. I also made sure that my connections, that I avoided error due to parallax when taking reading from the meter rule. Okay, so that being said, I hope this my little video would able will be able to help us out in our exam. So stay tuned as I'm going to also share a video on mechanics. So thank you and remain blessed.